Alright, hey guys, uh, welcome back to this series of videos on uh, walking through a Chinese dictionary. And I have to say it again, I personally really just recommend this as a dictionary for learners because this is actually a dictionary I myself used when I was um, growing up growing up and it's it's it was a really fantastic dictionary it still is right so it's been in print for many years uh by the commercial press anyway so in this video i wanted to continue from our presentation from last time on our presentation from last time and uh talk about um some of the indices sorry appendices that are available at the back of the dictionary they're actually very useful in helping you understand chinese characters as well so starting here Appendix number one, uh, Han Yu Peng Yan Fang. Oh, by the way, appendix, if you guys didn't know already, is uh, Fu Lok in uh, Cantonese. So, anyways, uh, this page gives you an introduction to the pinyin system of Mandarin. And if you guys ever switch to learning Mandarin from Cantonese, it's going to be, uh, I guess, a nice little introduction. Appendix number two uh, would be. Uh, an explanation of the Cantonese romanization used in this book. It's not Yupeng, it's not Yale, it's not Sydney Lao, it's actually Gong Zhao Wa Ju Yam. So you might see things like DZ, which is uh, equivalent to uh, the Z in Yupeng. And let's see, this strange looking letter here that I don't exactly know what it is, it's equivalent to the NG, the ng nasal sound in Cantonese. And TS is equal to the C, the T sound. And there are also some other vowels that um, have the, that are that aren't uh, the same as Yupeng or Yale that you might be used to. Uh, the third appendix here is uh, stroke order, yay! And we did stroke order a while back, and um, this is where, actually where I got the stroke order rules from. So uh, credits go to the dictionary. Number four would be um, oh, by the way, I forgot to mention there are actually these are the eight. Kind of uh, basic strokes. I think we'll, we'll talk more about that later on. And this is important to understanding how many strokes there are in a word, which is important to checking out words in the dictionary. Number four, character components. We also did in a series of videos, or maybe one video, I don't remember, uh, on on it. And unlike that system, uh, there are 12 in uh, standard Unicode characters as standard Unicode characters. But there, in, in this book, it uh, divides it into like nine basic types. But there are actually more, as you can see, right? If you want to get more detail. Uh, and number five would be uh, an appendix of uh, radicals. So you might know a radical, but you don't know how to say it. And then this. Um, because radicals are they're not so easy to find out and this chart really gives you a good overview as to how to pronounce all of these um, radicals number six is oh punctuation i'm not sure if you guys have noticed but punctuation in chinese is different from punctuation in um, english for example the full stop is not a dot but a, a hollow circle right and there are things like these that you um, could be made aware of Number seven, uh, the different types of words. So uh, we talked about uh, different parts of speech before in English, like adjectives, adverbs, and nouns, and all that kind of good stuff. And this is kind of like the equivalent in Chinese. And th this is actually quite similar to English as well. Uh, and maybe there are some that aren't uh, necessarily uh, that prominent in English but we will definitely get to that. Number eight and nine, they talk about different, this is the types of um, sentences. For example, statement, question, um, I think this is imperative. And uh, number nine, different parts of a sentence. This is very important. We're gonna go through this definitely uh, one day. And we've got also a relatives chart. Uh, Chinese relatives, a fairly complicated system. Up till today, I, I don't know how to address all my relatives. And uh, number 11, there's the yi sap se ji hei biu. So in uh, the Western world, there's, there are four seasons and 12 months, similarly in the Chinese world. But then um, we also divide a year into 24 different periods of time. And this gives you a description of what they are, what they signify, and the, the start dates as well. Number 12, last one would be um, 
a chart showing the um, different dynasties and then the years that they lasted. And this is this could be useful if you're interested in um, learning a little bit about Chinese history. And of course, there is a Chinese map. Where would we be without a map of China? And so that's it, guys. Uh, we will continue next time and uh, do sample searches in a real Chinese dictionary. Oh, uh, not real. I mean, not it's not to say the other ones are not real, but uh, in a Chinese Chinese dictionary. Okay. So that's it. See you guys next time.